Figured I'd go ahead and do round six of the bank battle series with pennies so we can catch up to the nickel series. Hey everybody, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure and that's right, it's already round six of my penny bank battle series and here's the good news. We found that Indian head penny last round in a chase box, but I got something different this time. I went to a completely different Bank of America branch, hoping that we score some good pennies in here. This is actually a bank branch that if you watched my epic penny hunt that one time, I had over 540 wheat pennies in a box. I ended up going back and getting two more boxes from that bank and I have not been back since. Go there again and what do you know? Same kind of box with the holes in it. It's not open yet. I saw it was circulated. Didn't see any awesome enders on the back side, but then again, you never know. This Chase Bank is a completely different Chase Bank as well. It was near this one and I never get pennies there. I've only ever gotten nickels and I decided, you know what? Let's get a box of pennies for that Chase Bank as well. This Wells Fargo is my normal Wells Fargo bank because I get two boxes every week. This is the second box from round five. So round five did okay. It was one of the worst boxes for it. We're hoping it redeems itself in this one, but why change a good bank when it is leading the series? That being said, you know the drill. We're gonna get right into it. I've already checked these. They are circulated. Didn't see any crazy enders at all. This box halfway torn open already, but it doesn't matter. We get to see the first time on the top side. So I'm not seeing anything particularly saying it's a wheat penny off the top. That's a 70s there, but you never know what's inside. We got a cool toner one right there and I see a lot of copper. So that's a good sign. Let me get the top torn off, get everything in position. We'll start with this roll and I'll loop you in on my first find. Roll number four, the kickoff find is a Canadian. Pretty modern, 2001. Roll number nine, no wheat pennies yet. But we did spy another Canadian, it looks like, 1996. So nothing old as far as the foreigns. Two finds only so far. Off to a slow start. Come on, B of A. Let's go. Bank box must have heard me because just a few coins later, we find facing us a 53D wheat penny. First find of the box. We're off and running with Wheaties. Roll 27. Finally going to have another wheat penny, and I just uncovered the back of it. Is it old? It's not. 56D. Finally our second. Maybe the box will heat up now. Well, it's been slow going. We're on roll 35 and kind of an odd colored weedy face of me, a 57D. We'll take it. Not the best shape, but it is the third wheat penny of the box. So at least we know we're not gonna be completely having one of our worst boxes ever. Although I had high hopes for this different branch. Then again, it's one time. We'll give it another shot. Hopefully we get a few more Wheaties in these last 15 rolls so we can get at least a respectable amount for poor B of A. Roll number 40 is gonna give us our fourth wheat penny and I get to reveal it because it is face in reverse. Is it old or just damaged? It's not that old. It's a 1944 Philadelphia damaged as well. But hey, we got four now. Can we get two more? Well, unfortunately, switching B of A branches didn't pan out in that box. We only found four wheat pennies, and the oldest was a 44 in terrible shape. So that's a rough hunt. Only two foreigns and 159 Denver. That's it. Terrible box once again for B of A. Digging themselves a hole. I don't know if they'll be able to come back. Moving on, let's turn our heads to Chase and see if they can have another great box to beat out Wells Fargo and take the lead after six rounds. We're off and running on the chase box. We're on roll number three. Found our first wheat penny of the box. It's a common one, 1958 out of Denver. Same roll and literally this one was kind of stuck to it. And when I slid it down, two pennies later is another wheat penny. Probably another 50s. And it is 1950 on the nose out of Denver. Two wheat pennies, one roll, I'll take it. Hunting roll number five, I just flattened out because I was getting towards the back of the roll. And um, look what I see. That's a pretty nice wheat penny back there. Hopefully it's not too modern, but it probably is in this condition. 55D, at least it wasn't a 57 or 58 that I see a lot. I'll take it. 
Pretty nice condition overall too. Let's put it down and get a good look at it. Yeah, definitely, definitely nicer than what I find. And I will take it for sure. 1955, nice wheat penny in the box. Roll number 13, got a wheat penny face in us. And I think that's a 42. Let's take a look. Yep, 1942. Oldest of the box, first from the 40s. Wheat penny number four. Roll 35. After starting off hot, this box really got cold. Good news is we're going to get a Canadian here. 1970 on the nose. Still stuck on four wheat pennies. Hopefully we can find a few more in this box before it gives up. Well, it's been quite some time, but we're finally on roll 44. And we're going to find a wheat penny. It was facing me. 1950 Denver. I believe we already found one of those earlier on. Don't get a lot of those. Odd to find two in a box that's not giving up very many wheat pennies. Still, we do have five. Maybe we can get to six. Let's hope. Two boxes into this three box hunt and we are struggling to find wheat pennies. Only five in that entire box. And uh, the oldest was a 1942. Slightly better than the B of A box, but we've got a lot of work to do to get uh, some points on the board this round. We did find a foreign, 359s, three decent coins. 63s, a couple of them in a 72D, and then two 69Ss in the first 13 rolls. Thought I was going to find some more. Ended up not. That's coin roll hunting, though. Two boxes down. Not a lot of wheat pennies to show for it. Hopefully, Wells Fargo can at least show us a double-digit wheat penny find, or at least some oldies would be nice. All right. Let's get into it. You guys probably caught it earlier, but I missed it. I called this a 55D earlier. I was getting ready to categorize all my wheat pennies. I put it under the scope. It's a 55 S. So only 44 point something million of these minted, not a key or semi key by any means, but if you're going to get a fifties wheat penny, you kind of want to get a 55 S other than the airs and varieties. I'll take it last year, the San Francisco minted regular strike pennies and it's in pretty decent shape. Like I had said earlier. So a little bit better box than I thought, actually. I'll take that all day. Now let's get to this box. We're on roll two of the Wells Fargo box, and I just got a nice, pleasant surprise. I know it's only a 39, but it's a pre-40s Wheatie, and it's the first one of the box to kick us off. And it's not in bad shape either. I'll take that all day, especially as the first find of the box. Same roll. A handful of coins later, I see the back of a Wheat Penny. It's going to be Wheat Penny number two. And it's a 45 Denver. Roll number eight. And I think we might have two wheat pennies. I got to this one. Looks like it's pretty worn. Hopefully it's old. And I could be wrong, but the top of that one just has the wheat penny look. Let's check this one out first. And it is a wheat penny. It is 1944. No mint mark. Not the best shape, of course. Pretty common. Or very common, I should say. And that looks like it's gonna be one as well. Ooh, and that's a teens. I think that's 1918. Let's put it under the scope. It is 1918, no mint mark, out of Philly, but that's a teens weedy in the box. Haven't got one of those in a while. That makes me happy. So we got a teens, a 30s, and 240s so far, four wheat pennies. Not even eight rolls yet. Roll number nine. Just laid it out. Third coin in. That's a wee penny. 1941 out of Philly. So we'll take that one as well. And since I got you here, might as well just do a quick look. I'm prone to miss them, but just in case, thought we should just do a quick perusing. See if I can catch one since we found a couple in the last few rolls. I don't think so. I'll be back when I actually find something. Just grabbed rule 10. The back ender is a Canadian. It's going to be probably in the 70s, maybe 80s. The Canadian ender, 1979. Rule number 14, laid him out flat as I got near the end of the roll. And sure enough, I saw the back of another wheat penny. It's another 44. Still, another find. 
That's already six wheat pennies in the first 14 rolls. Roll 15, we're gonna have our seventh wheat penny already of the box. 51, I think it's a 51 S, could be a D. 51 D, confirmed. Roll 25 and we're gonna have another wheat penny, be number eight of the box. Looks pretty new and it is 53 D. Newest of the box, but it still has eight now, halfway through. Roll number 27, we're gonna already have our ninth wheat penny of the box. Who's facing me? This is 1945 out of Philly, but I'll take it all day. Roll 29, guys, the box is continuing to put out. I already saw it because it was facing me. It's an old wheat penny. It's 20 something for sure. It's 1920. No mint mark, 1920. That is now a 20s wheat penny. A teens, a 20s, and a 30s. And it's wheat penny number 10 for the box. Roll 33, wheat penny number 11. Saw it, it's another 44, pretty chewed up, but I won't turn it down. Roll 34, we're gonna have a dozen wheat pennies in this box already. And it's a 58 Denver last year, but that's a dozen. Get out your aprons, guys, because we just got wheat penny number 13, a baker's dozen. And is that a 42? It is 1942 out of Philly. Roll 49 is gonna give us the 14th wheat penny of the box. I think it's a 51. It is 51 Denver. Can we get one more to get to 15? Roll 50 must have hurt us because hunting the roll, we're gonna have our 15th wheat penny of the box. 56, one of the newer ones. But that makes me happy. And 15 wheat pennies so far, I say so far, we're almost done, is one of my better hunts in a while. And it's been way too long since I've had a good box, let alone with some oldies. We'll get you a wrap up here in a second. Let me go ahead and finish this roll. So we finished that box of pennies from Wells Fargo and true to their nature, it looks like they're gonna take this one as well. 15 wheat pennies, the finds of the box, a 1918 out of Philadelphia, a 1920 out of Philadelphia, and a 1939 also out of Philadelphia. And then of course, 12 in the 40s and 50s. Very light on the side finds. Only one Canadian, only one nice coin, it happens to be a 69 Denver, and 169S. Believe it or not, not one 1959 penny in a 2,500 penny box. Crazy. I pulled this one out because it's a 1970S, and it's hard to see the date. It's kind of making it have shadows, makes it look like it might be a small date. But I highly doubt that it is. I'm gonna spend a little more time on it to make sure. Either way, I pulled it aside to look at later. Pretty sure Wells Fargo took this one with 15 wheat pennies, including three sub 40s. So I'll make it official here in a second and plug it in the score sheet. If it would have had more side finds, it would have been a no brainer. But that's a pretty good haul. I'll be right back when I have the score sheet completed. So we got the stats plugged into the score sheet and as expected, Wells Fargo took it with 34 points. Whenever you get two Wheaties under the 30s, one under the 40s, and 12 in the 40s and 50s, you're gonna score well. Chase came in second at 15 and a half and only eight and a half again for B of A. Man, they are struggling. I don't know what's going on. I'm still partial to B of A for a reason that they gave me that 500 plus wheat penny box still Ever since then, it's like they have not done very well. At the end of the day, Wells Fargo took the round. After six rounds, they're now leading at 27.1. Chase is still in the ballpark at 23.2, and B of A is gonna need an epic box here shortly in order to catch up. Six rounds completed. Wells Fargo has won three of the six. Every bank has at least took a round, but Wells Fargo's got a commanding lead. On top of that, my wheat penny production is slipping. It was nice to see Wells Fargo get a total of 15, but we only got 24 wheat pennies in those three boxes, about an eight average. And that's about two less than I used to average a few months ago. So I'm hoping my penny boxes start heating up again. We'll have to see how it goes. Hopefully you enjoyed this round of the Penny Box Bank Battle Series. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting, and thanks for watching.